Hello, HSE professionals. Welcome to hsebox.com, your source for health, safety, and environmental tips. Today's video is all about the Occupational Safety and Health Administration and why it's crucial for workplace safety. Whether you're new or experienced, understanding how this organization operates will help you ensure your site is safe and compliant. Stay with us for an easy-to-follow guide on everything you need to know about the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. What is the Occupational Safety and Health Administration? The Occupational Safety and Health Administration was created in 1970 under the Occupational Safety and Health Act. This federal agency is part of the United States Department of Labor and was designed to ensure that workplaces are safe and healthful. Its mission is to protect workers from hazards by setting and enforcing safety standards, providing training, and offering educational programs. Before the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's creation, workplace injuries and deaths were common, especially in industries like construction and manufacturing. With this organization, the goal is to create a framework where worker safety is the top priority. One of the most significant achievements of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has been the reduction of workplace fatalities and injuries. For example, when the agency was established, more than 14,000 workers were killed on the job annually. Thanks to the standards and regulations it enforces, that number has dramatically decreased. How does the Occupational Safety and Health Administration work? The Occupational Safety and Health Administration's work revolves around setting safety and health standards for various industries. These standards are designed to protect workers from recognized hazards that could cause injury or death. For example, the construction industry is governed by standards related to fall protection, ladder safety, and equipment handling. Other industries, like manufacturing, are regulated through standards on machinery safeguards and proper chemical handling. What sets the Occupational Safety and Health Administration apart is that it doesn't just create these standards, it also enforces them through workplace inspections. These inspections can be random or triggered by an incident, such as an injury or complaint. Occupational Safety and Health Administration compliance officers visit work sites to ensure that safety rules are being followed. If a workplace fails to meet the necessary standards, the employer may receive citations, face fines, or be required to take corrective action. For example, if an inspector visits a construction site and finds that workers are not wearing proper fall protection gear, the employer may be cited for failing to meet the fall protection standards. Similarly, if there are unguarded machinery parts in a factory, fines could be imposed until the issue is corrected. The importance of training and education. Beyond inspections, one of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's main roles is to provide training and education for both employers and employees. The agency offers various programs, including the Outreach Training Program, which focuses on teaching workers about their rights and the hazards they may face on the job. These courses are essential in high-risk industries like construction, where workers need to be aware of specific dangers such as electrical hazards or the risks of working from heights. Training is not limited to hazard awareness. It also covers employee rights. Workers have the right to know about the risks they are exposed to and how to protect themselves. Employers must inform their employees about potential hazards and provide the appropriate safety measures, such as personal protective equipment. For example, in a manufacturing facility where hazardous chemicals are used, workers must be trained on how to handle these chemicals safely, including proper storage and emergency procedures in case of a spill. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration also supports workers by ensuring they have access to information regarding their safety. If a worker believes their workplace is unsafe, they have the right to file a complaint without fear of retaliation. This protection encourages transparency and ensures that issues are addressed before they lead to injuries. Worker rights. 
under the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. One of the most critical aspects of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is the protection of worker rights. Every worker has the right to a safe and healthful workplace, and the agency enforces this right by holding employers accountable. Workers have the right to 1. Request an inspection. If they believe unsafe conditions exist, workers can request an inspection of their workplace without fear of retaliation. 2. Receive hazard information. Employers must inform workers about hazards, provide necessary safety training, and make safety data sheets available for hazardous chemicals used in the workplace. 3. Report injuries. Workers are entitled to report work-related injuries and illnesses without fear of retaliation or dismissal. 4. Refuse dangerous work. In situations where a worker believes they are in imminent danger, they can refuse to perform the task without facing penalties from their employer. By knowing and exercising these rights, workers help create safer working environments and prevent accidents before they happen. How do you ensure that Occupational Safety and Health Administration regulations are followed at your workplace? What challenges have you faced in maintaining compliance? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear how you manage safety in your environment. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration plays an indispensable role in ensuring workplace safety and understanding its function is vital for all health and safety professionals. Whether you're just entering the industry or have years of experience, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's regulations, training, and inspections form the backbone of worker safety in the United States. Thank you for watching our introduction to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Please leave your comments and share your thoughts on the topic. Also, let us know what topics you would like us to cover in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and visit hsebox.com for more resources and insights on health, safety, and environmental management. Stay safe and see you in the next video.